everybody, it's Lon Seidman, and we're checking out the new Amazon Echo today. This is a hard product to describe, but I don't even think Amazon knows what they're doing with it just yet. Uh, but it really, at the moment, functions like Siri in your home. Uh, it works with a little companion app that you have to download onto your smartphone to configure it. And you basically attach it to your Wi-Fi, and then you talk to it, asking it basic questions and giving it basic commands. So I could say to it, Alexa, what's the weather like tomorrow? And she'll think about it. Weather alert for Killingworth. There's a gale warning. For then she'll read back the weather. Alexa, to seven. cancel. Now you'll see when I did say, oh, I won't say the word again because it'll trigger it. Uh, when I said the word to trigger her, uh, it'll put a brighter part of the band up here towards the direction of the speaker. So it actually has microphones all the way around the device. And it does try to focus on where it's hearing the command from uh, to kind of give it a better chance of understanding what you're saying. It'll work across a pretty good distance. I found, uh, you know, I was probably standing in some places about 30 feet away or so, and it was able to make out what I said. It was in a quiet room, of course. If you've got people over and there's other voices going on, just like all the other devices that we use, it's going to get tripped up and confused. Uh, so it's not perfect, but it is uh, pretty good. The sound quality out of here is also very nice. You heard the voice. It sounds very nice and professional. It doesn't sound very computer-like. Uh, but it also plays back music very well. Uh, it comes off of Amazon's ecosystem, so you can't play back Spotify or anything off your phone, uh, but you can play back the Amazon Prime Music Library that's available to Prime subscribers, uh, as well as uh, music that uh, you have purchased on Amazon, and unfortunately, Amazon only at the moment. Pretty nicely constructed, though. The speakers sound really, really good on here, uh, so it is a nice music device as well if you can live with uh, kind of staying within Amazon's own ecosystem for that. You can also connect it up with local radio stations through the TuneIn uh, service or iHeartRadio as well. So it does some pretty nice stuff there. But it always wants to default over to Amazon's uh, stuff. So obviously, because it's an Amazon device. So if I ask it a question, like an encyclopedia question, uh, Alexa, tell me about the planet Mars. Planet Mars, the paperback edition of the book by Francois Fred. Alexa, cancel. Fr so what it's doing here is I heard the planet Mars, and it figured I wanted to know about a book that I could buy from Amazon as opposed to the actual planet Mars. So let me give it another question here. Alexa, Alexa, what is the gravity on Mars? Mars gravity is gravitational force, real number, 0 0.3895. Alexa, cancel. So in that instance, it did have an encyclopedia entry, and it defaulted to that. But the default position is uh, get, it, get it over to the Amazon database to add to your shopping list uh, to then go ahead and buy it. So uh, that's kind of the track it takes. But it does do some stuff pretty neat. So I could say, Alexa, play some holiday tunes. Miscellaneous holiday music. Ain't and so it'll play back some, uh, some, ho some holiday tunes for uh, the holiday season here. Alexa, cancel. Cancel. And it'll do a pretty nice job of actually hearing that command even when it's playing back music. So it does have some, uh, some pretty decent ability to control it without having to run across the room and turn down its volume or something like that. You can control the volume manually up here uh, with this little knob. Uh, you can also ask her to turn it herself down if you want. Uh, there's a mute button here if you want to mute it. Uh, what it is doing is when it's plugged in and on, it is always listening. I don't believe it's sending anything out over the network until it hears its command and you give it a command. Uh, but if you're not comfortable with that, you can either unplug it uh, or hit the mute button up here, and presumably it'll stop listening as long as that button is on. And there's also a power button here. And that's pretty much it. Uh, pretty nice device, metal, very heavy. Uh, so it actually feels pretty uh, sturdy in the hand. Not that you would hold it, but it does feel like a pretty high quality device. And it's attractive enough that you can put it uh, somewhere in a room and not have it look uh, all that ugly, depending on your decor. And what I want to do now is go and take a look at its app, because this is what uh, it links up with. So when you do things like create shopping lists or to-do lists, uh, the app is where all of that data will go. So let's check that out. So when you first boot up the app, you get a list of everything that the device was asked. It basically keeps a running log of everything. And for times that it can't answer a question, which is quite often, uh, what it does is it basically grabs whatever you asked it and then makes it a link to Bing, the search engine, uh, so you can go in and look for it. But it will do other things, like when we asked it the gravity question about Mars, it found a nice picture from Wikipedia for us. And we can, uh, of course, tap on uh, that uh, link here. I can click Learn More on Wikipedia and it'll pop up my web browser, and I can go back and uh, get some more information about it. So, you know, pretty neat. Uh, again, pretty basic kind of stuff. Uh, what I do like about it is that it has these to-do lists on here as well. So I could say, uh, Alexa, remind me to get some dog food. I asked. 
added with some dog food for your to-do list. And it goes in really quickly, so it just basically pops it right in there. Uh, you can sync it up with other uh, phones in your family, so you could have like your spouse or your significant other can also have the same list, and then if I was able to get dog food, I can check it off there, and it will also sync up uh, with my wife's phone at the same time. Now there's also a shopping list as well, uh, which of course will link up with Amazon's gift uh, or Amazon's uh, store, so you can find these things uh, on Amazon first, and of course it'll pop over to my Amazon app for me and begin finding those uh, items for me as well. So you can keep shopping lists. Right now I can't buy anything directly through the device, but I'm sure down the road uh, that will be Amazon's plan for doing that. So that is the Amazon Echo, and I think once you get over the gee whiz factor of this, you know, kind of this Star Trek-like computer thing you can have in your house and ask questions to, uh, you begin to see there's not a lot of depth to this product. It doesn't really know a lot to uh, answer the questions that you give it. It kind of flings those Bing links at you more often than not. Uh, it will default to Amazon book entries before it gives you some information that you might be looking for uh, so that you might you know, buy something from Amazon. And it's really siloing you into Amazon's ecosystem for the music in particular, uh, but also even on the to-do lists and the shopping lists, it can't sync up with you know, the iPhone to-do list system or, or with uh, Google stuff either. So it's the to-do list that's in their app and their app only. You can't sync it up with anything else that you might already have as part of your workflow. Uh, so you know, it's fairly limited right now. I think it's got some potential. The audio technology is pretty decent. The voice sounds really natural and that's pretty cool, but I am really struggling to find a use for this in my house, especially one that uh, warrants me uh, having this thing listening to everything that's going on in my home all the time, which kind of creeps me out. So uh, I would probably pass on this until I see a real killer application for a device like this. But for now, I think my phone uh, does most of what uh, this already does, and I think the phone does it better. This is Lon Seipen. Thanks for watching.